Hey, welcome. My name is Russ Grinter, and I want to say firstly, thank you for watching this short intro clip into who we are at Reforming Church. Uh, also, welcome to the Ministry Shed. This is where many of us spend our time, particularly in the mornings, studying God's Word and preparing to preach His Word, to preach the Gospel uh, in Bendigo and beyond. And we pray and we work here for the sake of seeing our city and our region reformed, reshaped by the good news of Jesus. So we are a part of Reforming Church. And I'm the pastor and there's a bunch of us that serve there. And it perhaps sounds like a funny name for a church. Reforming Church is a Presbyterian church. That means we belong to the wider body that is the Presbyterian Church of Victoria in our state. We belong to a group of people that love the Bible, love Jesus, and trust Him at His Word and proclaim that Word, that good news, uh, to our towns and our cities throughout this state and throughout our land and the world. The great thing about Reforming Church is we are a local body, a local expression of Christ Church, and we call it Reforming, the brand name that is of our church. We call it Reforming because one of the mottos of the Reformation, which we look back to and say that's our heritage, one of the mottos of that Reformation back in the 1500s was Semper Reformanda. And that just means always reforming. And we called our church Reforming because we think it's a pretty good name that describes who we are. See, if you come to Reforming Church, you ought to meet a bunch of people that are sinners like me. The Bible describes us so well, doesn't it? You know, we're people that make mistakes. I've wronged God and I wrong even my family and friends and I don't want to. I do things that comes out of my heart. But the Bible has good news. It's what the Bible calls, it's a media word, gospel. And that good news is this, that Jesus has come into the world. He is the Christ. He is the one who has come to rescue us. And he died for my sin, our sin, and he rose for our hope. And that good news, that gospel, that actually changes people. It changed me. It changes our friends, our family, our neighbors. When they come into contact with that and they hear that good news of Jesus, what he's done for them, what he's done for you, it changes us. And so the gospel that sees us saved out of, and rescued out of our sinful state and, and with a hope of heaven to come and a, and a right relationship with God, that gospel that saves us also changes us. It actually reforms us. And this is what we firmly believe is such a wonderful thing. And we celebrate it. We sing together as we meet as a church. We pray together and we read God's word and hear it preached. And God's word actually changes us. This, this word from him, this message, this proclamation, this gospel, this good news of Jesus reforms us. And so we call our church Reforming Church because that's what's happening. We are reforming. And we're on a mission together in Bendigo. We want to see our family, our friends, our neighbors hear this message too. Hear this good news of Jesus that saves us and changes us. It reforms us. You see, in our society, there are many people that say, well, we need reform. We need things to be changed to be better. We need our hearts to change. But the only way that's ever going to happen is, the Bible says, anyway, ever going to happen is if people get to know who Jesus is and trust in him at his word, believe that he is their Savior and Lord, then you'll see change. People get born again, a new start to life, and things happen, and we see change in their hearts and change in their families and change in their friendships, their relationships, because we are reforming. We are reforming by the gospel, by the good news of Jesus. So if you were to come along to Reforming Church on a Sunday and see us and meet us, if you were to come along to the ministry shed and meet us here, you'd meet a bunch of people that are reforming and we are inviting you to join us and be reforming too. To be on mission with us. To see disciples made of Jesus. To make disciples who make more disciples. To see churches planted like we planted this church in February of 2013. To be reforming with us. That's our invitation for you. And we pray that you would come to know Jesus and be reforming too. Grace and peace.